Okay, so today we're going to be doing something a little bit weird. A video about Windows on the Linux Lounge. Today we're going to be talking about Windows 10 LTSC. What is that? Why might you want to use it? What is using it like? And a little bit of how you can get it. And we're going to be talking about all of those things right now on Linux Lounge. So to start us off with, you might ask, what exactly is Windows 10 LTSC? Well, LTSD stands for Long Term Servicing Channel, and the operating system is kind of true to its name. Windows 10 LTSC is basically a version of Windows 10 Enterprise with some extra stuff added that's supported in the long term. If you're familiar with Linux, you can kind of think of it as being similar to an Ubuntu LTS, except aimed at businesses and such. And much like an Ubuntu LTS, it gets updates for many years. In the case of Windows 10 LTSC, every release is supported for 10 years. As well as that, much like an Ubuntu LTS, Windows LTSC releases are intentionally kept very stable. With an LTS release, there will never be any feature releases. So if a mainline Windows gets a new feature or something, you won't get that until the next LTSC release. For some people, that stability and lack of new features is a huge selling point as it means the system will be rock solid and very stable. Other advantages of LTSC include a lack of bloat. Uh, Windows 10 LTSC includes no Metro apps, no Microsoft Store, or anything like that, which to some people will be a huge plus, but to other people that's going to be probably a downside. So all in all, I'd probably describe Windows 10 LTSC as a long-term stable version of Windows for enterprises that is free of bloat and other nonsense that's found its way into modern Windows. Now, if that's something that sounds appealing to you, sadly I have to say there's no good way of getting your hands on Windows 10 LTSC as an individual home user. If you want to buy it, there's going to be lots of hoops that you're going to have to go through and it's going to be a very expensive process that'll cost you hours of your life for something that probably isn't worth the work. Alternatively, you can do what the internet does best and pirate Windows 10 LTSC. Now, I don't recommend doing that. By pirating your OS, you'll expose yourself to all sorts of security risks, and obviously the process is not legal. However, I know what the internet is like. I know that torrent client probably isn't just for Linux legal ISOs. So what I will say is this. If you are going to pirate LTSC, make sure you check the hashes of all the files you download to make sure that they're clean, and make sure that you're using an open source program to crack Windows. I won't name names, but I know that there is one out there. But once again, I really do not condone piracy at all. But with all that out of the way, let's take a look at an install I have for Windows 10 LTSE 2019 and see what it's about. And then here we are on the Windows 10 LTS 2019 desktop. As you can see, it looks very much like Windows 10, has the taskbar just like Windows 10, has your little uh, desktop viewer thing just like Windows 10, um, you can search, just like in Windows 10, and you have the start menu, just like in Windows 10. You also have the little notification thing, just like in Windows 10, so all in all, it's very much like Windows 10, and it works just like Windows 10. However, the more you go into this system, the more you sort of realize that it isn't uh, exactly like Windows 10. For instance, the first thing that you might notice is there are no icons on the taskbar. It's completely blank. And there's a reason for that. If we go into the start menu, you can kind of see that there's almost nothing installed. Uh, I added Firefox myself, I should just probably add that. There really isn't anything here. However, there's still some stuff here. There's the um, usual sort of Windows tools, but not the junk Metro ones. The sort of older ones from Windows 7 are uh, put more on display here. Um, you know, you've kind of got your Windows PowerShell stuff too, Windows System stuff, so, you know, it's a very minimal, clean Windows. Um, as I previously mentioned, there's no Windows Store or Metro or anything like that, there's no Cortana or anything like that, so it's really just very bare bones and reminds me a lot of Windows 7. However, there are still some of the uh, things that have been added in Windows 10, so for instance, you can see we've got the new uh, Start menu. If you so desire, you can pin things to the start menu just like you can in the standard Windows 10 edition, and it really does just work like Windows 10. And if we go into the settings and we go into system, you can begin to see that, yeah, we've got the night light just like in regular Windows 10. 
Um, uh, if we go into personalization, you can go ahead and see if we go into themes, although I'm actually not sure if that is what it's under. Um, you can go ahead and set it to dark, and if we now go into the Windows Explorer, which naturally it does indeed have, but I'm going to have to search for that. There we go. As you can see, the dark theme is applied to the um, Explorer, so it's pretty much as Windows 10 was back in 2019 when this was released. Uh, also, for demonstration purposes, I went ahead and installed Firefox, which, as you can see, it works perfectly fine. Um, and really, you can run all of your programs just as though you were running a normal version of Windows 10. You can get your, uh, you know, any programs you want to use. You can game on this if you really want to. Uh, however, of course, after a time, like graphics drivers might stop being supported on here, but you can do it for the time being. In fact, you can even install the Metro apps if you really want to. And realistically, that's all there is to show with Windows 10 LTSC, which is probably a good thing because there's not a lot here and it will let you kind of build up off it. So there is a lot you can do with this as well. You can, of course, you know, get your setup just how you want it. You can use any programs you want without it sort of conflicting with the built-in Metro apps. Uh, as this is basically Windows 10 Enterprise, you can disable all the telemetry that's sent to Microsoft, so you can have a relatively uh, private Windows experience. In fact, if you're not paranoid about this being not uh, open source and being proprietary, you could probably say that this is a 100% private Windows experience. In fact, um, what you can even do is you can further de-bloat this if this is still bloated, like too bloated for you. So you know you can remove more of this sort of stuff. Uh, and you can actually block the domains that uh, this connects to, like Microsoft servers. So you really can do whatever you want with this system. And you can really make it yours, you can control the updates and stuff far more than you can with normal Windows. So all in all, if you're looking for like a version of Windows to get, and you need to uh, use Windows, and you have the means to get a hold of this without pirating it, I still don't condone piracy, you really shouldn't pirate your uh, OS, especially not the one you're using daily. You should absolutely get this, because this is by far the best version of Windows you can get. It's up to date, it's fully supported, but it isn't bloated like uh, other Windows 10 versions. But that's pretty much all I've got to say about Windows 10 LTSC. I thank you for watching this video. Uh, if you're new here, please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing. Um, also, I will have a link in the description to my LBRY channel, which is like a open source uh, YouTube alternative. It really supports the show, going over there and watching my stuff. If you're already on LBRY, consider leaving a tip. That also really helps out. But with that said, I think that's it for today's video, and I thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.